Alrighty, this bit of Mac the Knife. This is a request from Tom um, Denny. I hope you like it. I've put um, a little bit of a melody line and some chords. I think it sounds okay. Anyway, let's just um, jump straight into that tutorial. Okay, I'm going to break it into two halves. The first half will sound like this. <laughs> Okay, so what's going on there? Um, we started with a second fret on the middle string and open high G, so. And then we come up to the C on the fifth fret, but we're going to add our ring finger to the seventh fret on the middle string. Sounds a bit jazzy and also works in with that vocal note as well, so. And then we go on to the same riff again, so second fret, middle string open high G. This time we go to a sort of a G chord, so um, low G open, third fret on the middle string, second fret on the high string, so. And then um, we this time we get the middle string open, so we're going to play the same chord, so middle string open, third fret, same chord. And then we come up to the fifth fret on the high G, fourth fret, to the fifth fret, but you can hit that C chord at the same time. Alrighty. When I'm when I'm doing when I'm actually playing the chord, I'm actually playing the chord, then I'm releasing the pressure off the strings. Just to sort of mute it, gives it a bounce sound. Okay. And if you're a beginner, you can actually just play that chord twice. So you can just go like to the next part. confident and get more more swinging to your right hand you can give a few more notes so uh. but just setting um, those those two notes it sounds fine and obviously gives you a bit of confidence as well as you're starting to learn the song Okay, so that's all that's involved in the first half. Let's have a quick look at the second half of the song. The second half, we start with a run all on the high G, so open, four, seven, to the C chord on the fifth. And then we're gonna to go to the fourth fret on the high G, seventh fret middle string, to a D chord on the seventh fret, to a D7. All right, to play that D7, you let your finger on the fifth fret, and then your um, seventh fret on the middle string and the low G. Okay, so we've got, uh, put those two together, so we've got. And then uh, we come up to the middle string again, second fret, third fret, and then we're playing a G chord, so we've got the um, low G open, middle string open, and then the fifth fret on the, on the high G. And then five, four, to the fifth fret, we the C chord. Alright, so putting all that together nice and slow. Okay, so one more time. Sorry, where were, where were they? Sorry, from here. much it. Um, what you can do on the last time, um, on the last C, after this part, and that's just to wrap it up. So that time I'm just going 5, 4, back, back to the 5th fret on that high C. And that can uh, wrap it up for you. So I might just put it all together once more for you, nice and slow. Um, okay, so... Uh, 
Um, yeah, so should get you through Mac and I. Hopefully you got something out of that. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know. If you're digging the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And until I see you again, be good and hooroo.